Both Paul and Muhammad claimed that their revelations were consistent with the Old Testament, but only one of them had actually read the Old Testament. Can you guess who it was? The Apostle Paul was a Pharisee who studied under Gamaliel, one of the greatest Jewish rabbis of the first century. Paul knew the Old Testament inside and out, which is why he quotes the Old Testament so frequently in his writings. This is important because Jesus claimed to fulfill a variety of Old Testament prophecies, and you can't really examine this claim if you don't know what the Old Testament says. Muhammad was almost completely ignorant of the Old Testament because his knowledge of the Jewish scriptures was limited to what he heard in conversations. Not surprisingly, despite Muhammad's numerous interactions with Jews in Arabia, the Quran contains very few quotations from the Old Testament. Due to his ignorance of the scriptures, Muhammad couldn't tell the difference between stories that were in the Torah, and therefore divine revelation, and stories from later Jewish writings and commentaries, some of which were so late and so obviously fabricated, they weren't far beyond the level of bedtime stories. Imagine how amusing it must be for someone who specializes in Jewish literature to read the Quran and find so many fables being presented to Muslims as revelation, Cain being taught how to bury the dead by a raven, Solomon listening to a speech by an ant. As a general rule, if you're going to plagiarize history, you don't start with Mother Goose or the Brothers Grimm. But Muhammad just didn't know enough to distinguish scripture from non-scripture. Muhammad's ignorance of the Old Testament is also noteworthy because, like Jesus, he claimed to fulfill Old Testament prophecies. If Muhammad had been more knowledgeable of the Torah, he would have known that he couldn't possibly be a prophet for numerous reasons. For instance, Muslim sources report that Muhammad once delivered what are now called the Satanic Verses to his followers. These verses promoted prayers to three pagan goddesses, Alat, Alusa, and Manat. Muhammad bowed down in honor of these polytheistic verses, and his followers bowed down with him. But a little later, Gabriel confronted Muhammad about his sin. Muhammad confessed in the History of At-Tabari, Volume 6, page 111, I have fabricated things against God and have imputed to him words which he has not spoken. So Muhammad admitted that he delivered a revelation that didn't really come from God. Why is this important? Well, in Deuteronomy 18, verse 20, God declares, but a prophet who presumes to speak in my name, anything I have not commanded, or a prophet who speaks in the name of other gods, is to be put to death. Muslims claim that they respect Moses. But if Muhammad had delivered the satanic verses during the time of Moses, Moses would have ordered the people to pick up stones and stone him to death as the most obvious false prophet in history. Muhammad didn't realize this due to his lack of familiarity with the Jewish scriptures, which is why the motto of Islam has always been, and always will be, ignorance is bliss. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. In case you stumbled upon this video while browsing or searching, I wanted to let you know that it's part of a series comparing Paul and Muhammad. So if you'd like to see the full series, be sure to click on the playlist. If you're already in the playlist, you're about to see why Paul was in a perfect position to learn the truth about Jesus. As for Muhammad, eh.